Amy and we are only like 11 days till Christmas which I am so stinking excited about and I'm in front of my little Christmas tree here and I am going to be doing the joys of Christmas tag that was created by Sam from Novels and Nonsense so I will put a link down to her video down below if you have not checked her out which you probably already have but if you have not you need to go check out her channel because she is fantastic, awesome, wonderful, all of the good words, Sam is. Okay, let's get started with the first question, which is anticipation. And it is, the Christmas excitement is real. What book release are you most anticipating? And technically, the book that I'm really excited about that I cannot wait to read, and it actually came out last month, and that is 10,000 Skies Above You by Claudia Gray, and I I just haven't bought it, and it, it has gotten close to Christmas, and so we have a rule in our family that you cannot buy something for yourself when it's so close to Christmas because you don't want to ruin someone else's surprise if they have gotten that for you as well. So I put it, put off buying it, and I really want to read it saw it in the store and it's just beautiful so yes but there is a book that's coming out next year that I could think of that I am very excited about and it is a book by one of our own Sarah from Sarah Ella her book comes out next year I think sometime late spring summer that middle part of the year I can't remember what month but it is in 2016 and I am very excited about reading her book okay so the second question is Christmas songs and carols. What book or author can you not help but sing their praises or its praises? One of the books that I have talked about many times in this past year and that is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I absolutely love this book not just because of its beautiful cover but because of the characters, of the world development, of the plot, of the story. It's just a fantastic book and as I've already mentioned I cannot wait to read the second book in this series. And then a couple other authors that I absolutely love. I they are auto buy authors for me. When they when a book comes out of theirs, I will buy it no matter what. And the first one is Donald Miller. All around, he's very genuine, and I really appreciate that in a Christian author. And I think he's fantastic. I think his writing is phenomenal. And this is my favorite book of his, um, Through Pain and Desert. It is so fantastic. Some of the just some of the images that he creates is just wonderful and I really think he just speaks to the hearts and it's a fantastic book and he is a fantastic writer. And he's also one of the writers that really did inspire me to write. So that is Donna Miller and then the other author that is auto by is Tamara Alexander. I've talked a lot about her this past year. I've been rereading her books and she's just phenomenal. I think she writes really amazingly real characters and I just love her writing there is just phenomenal phenomenal so love Tamara Alexander and love her stories and love her characters fantastic okay question were you on question three yes question three do, 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 which is gingerbread houses what book or series has wonderful world building and that was that was pretty easy for me I haven't I just this year I started really diving into a lot of fantasy and sci-fi novels so I didn't have a whole lot to choose from and I think this author does an amazing job of world building and that is Brandon Sanderson. This is the Mistborn trilogy box set. All of my Mistborn books are actually in my Christmas village right now as hills. So I just have the box. Anyway, that's just a little tidbit not has nothing to do with the question so yes I think Brandon Sanderson this is the only series that I finished of his I've also started his Reckoner series which is actually a YA more dystopian type but the Mistborn series even though like it there were parts of it that were slow and it did take me a while to get through I thought his world building was fantastic I thought his different creatures were amazing I thought the the use of magic and the use of different ways he used the elements was just just fantastic it was definitely just I don't know it was it blew my mind that this could come out of 
like this world building came out of a person and it's just it was amazing. Highly recommend Brandon Sanderson. I am definitely going to be continuing reading his stuff. It's just, it's a lot more in depth than I'm used to. So I'm, it's, I'm going slowly into this world, into this genre. So yes, Brandon Sanderson, fantastic world building. Okay, question number four is a Christmas Carol. Favorite classic or one you want to read. And my favorite classic is in fact A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickinson. I, Dickens, not Dickinson, Dickens. I read this last year with my husband for the first time and absolutely loved it. I love the writing. I think this is a great book to start if you want to get into classics because it helps with the language and it's short and it's fun. And I think everyone knows the story because there's so many different renditions of the a Christmas Carol, and if you're wondering, my favorite rendition of A Christmas Carol is the Mickey Mouse version, and I do have to say that, in fact, for most of the story, I was thinking, I was picturing Scrooge as a duck, Tiny Tim was a mouse, yeah, they were, they were all Mickey Mouse characters. Anyway, Christmas Carol is one I've already read. I would like to reread Expectations by Charles Dickens. I read this in college and I remember absolutely loving it, but I don't remember a whole lot of the actual story. And question number five is Christmas sweets, fudge, cookies. It's not the question, but I just love them. Okay, question is, what book would you love to receive for Christmas? all of them? I, I, ha I don't know. I think the one that I most, most want would have to be 10,000 Skies Above You because I've, I've been waiting for that book since I finished A Thousand Pieces of You and I, yeah, and the new illustrated version of The Sorcerer's Stone because it's beautiful and I love Harry Potter. Question number six is Candles in the Window. What book gives you the warm, fuzzy feelings? And one of the books that I read last year is A Cliché Christmas by Nicole Deese, and I just thought this was a cute, really cute love story and a Christmas story, and it wasn't just your, like, run-of-the-mill, like, Christmas story where it was kind of basic. It did go a little bit more in-depth and had great character development. I would have liked it to be a little longer because it is only 200 pages, but it was great, and I was going to read it again this year, but I probably will not get to it. And then the other books that just, I just absolutely love, I love them. They're books that if I just need a go-to book and I just want something that is just easy. I absolutely love the Love Comes Softly series by Jeanette Oak. I usually read them around Christmas time, but my mom took her books back, so I don't have them. So when I go to Colorado for Christmas, I may have to read at least one of them because they're only like 180 pages each, and they're really easy reading, so I may have to read a couple of those over Christmas. So yes, those are some of my favorite warm, fuzzy books. They're not actually warm and fuzzy. They give me. Anyway, question number seven is Christmas tree and decorations. What are some of your favorite book covers? Guess which book I'm getting ready to pick up now, guys. Can you guess? I haven't talked about it for 5,000 million times this year. And that is 8,000 Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I mean, just, just look at it. So beautiful, so beautiful, and it's pink. I mean, I just love pink. And then another one of my favorite, my ones that I just recently saw, and that is Across the Universe cover. I, again, it's probably because it's a little sparkly and it's pink, and yes. So those are a couple of my favorite book covers. Okay, the last question, which is question number eight, and that is Christmas joy. What are some of your favorite things about Christmas and or some of your favorite Christmas memories? Okay, so 
One of the things that I love about Christmas time, and really just this time of year, is all the time that I get to spend with family. I absolutely love my family, I love my in-laws, and I love my, my, my side of the family. And so, my parents, they live only a couple hours away, so we, we see them on a regular basis, but there's just something different about the fact that, like, Michael has a, a week off for Thanksgiving and two weeks off for Christmas because he's a teacher and so we get to spend extended times with them and not just a weekend and then we always try to either go to Colorado or have family come here and so I just love getting to spend time with my family and it was it was always something I look forward to as a kid. One of my favorite memories is that we always spent either Christmas or New Year's with my dad's side of the family and my aunt and my uncle, um, they have four kids, and so it was all of us cousins, and they were close to my age, um, the girls were close to my age, and we just, just loved them, and just loved being around them, and my grandparents, and we always played games, like, we always, someone always got a new game, so we always had to play games on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, and we laughed, and we're loud, and eat popcorn that Granddad makes, because Granddad makes the best popcorn, just... He makes the best popcorn. Yeah, so favorite memories and things I love about Christmas is just the time that I get to spend with my family. And one of my favorite memories of Christmas, I, it's not, it it's, may not be, even be funny to you, but I remember when I was, I think, 9 or 10, we were at my Aunt Cheryl's house, and I was downstairs with my cousins and sitting on the bed, and we were laughing or something, and somehow I ended up falling backwards off the bed into the, the laundry basket. And it still, to this day, is one of like our inside jokes. And it's just one of my favorite. I can still picture myself falling into the laundry basket. And that was like 20 years ago. So, Okay, well, that is all of the questions. That was a great tag. Thank you, Sam. You always come up with the funnest questions. So I love doing this tag. And who I tag? Oh, goodness. Um, I'll, I'll put some links down below or tag you on Twitter because I can't think of any right now. Okay, guys, I hope you're having a great reading month and I hope you're having a great Christmas holiday. And remember to just kind of chill. Just take a time, stop, spend some time with your family or spend some time with your friends and really enjoy this time of year and forget about all of the shopping. That's my little, little announcement there. Okay, I will see you guys on the flip side. Bye! Hi, it's really hot. Oh, and it's, it's because the heater's on.